Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we'll see what new is coming in SQL Server. After the release of SQL Server 2016, Microsoft is working on a new version of SQL Server that is codenamed as SQL Server vNext. And the thing with vNext is, the very big thing with vNext is, it will not only work with Windows, but it will work with uh, the Linux operating system also. So right now, this SQL Server vNext version is supported for Windows as well as Linux operating systems like Ubuntu, Red Hat and very recently SUSE Linux. So let me show you how to you know download the SQL Server bits for Windows operating system and how you can install it. Okay, I'll take you to the web page and I will just search for download SQL Server V next and the first link will take me to the evaluation page of the uh, the CTP version of SQL Server vNext. So right now the CTP1 version has been released and you can download from the SQL Server evaluation site. So this is the SQL Server evaluation center site and here before you have to download you have to sign in and register. So sign in with your Microsoft account or live ID okay and uh, or Hotmail account. So after sign in you have to just uh, register and I'll show you how to register it. So the steps are very simple. You have to just you know uh, come to this web page and uh, if, if I collapse it you will see the versions that are available for download. SQL Server 2014 SP2, SQL Server 2016 SP1 and the latest SQL Server vNext CTP preview. Okay and expand it. Just choose your uh, file. Uh, I'll choose the ISO file and I'll click register to continue. Okay, here check all the details. If you have already filled this form for some previous version of SQL Server, so you don't need to make any changes. Click on continue. Okay, and now you have registered and this file will be automatically downloaded here. Okay, so it is around 1.9 GB file and it will take some time. Okay, so as I've already downloaded this file, I will uh, cancel it and I'll take you to the download folder. I'll close this window. Okay, so here is the ISO image that I had downloaded previously already. So you just have to right click and mount this. So this will be mounted as a DVD drive. Once you click it, it will have a setup.exe file. Just open, just click on yes. So the installation is very similar to the previous versions. Okay, go to the installation section and click on the new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. So this is the latest version of SQL Server vNext that is CTP 1.2. Okay, just click it. Okay, we can, we can minimize this. Okay, uh, specify a free edition. Right now, we can just put a evaluation edition. It will give us the full feature version. Click on next. I accept the license terms. Click on next. Click on next. Okay, here you can see all the features. So most of the features are, you must be already familiar with SQL Server previous versions, like the uh, this Polybase R, these came with the, uh, and this R services, these came with SQL Server 2016, so these are already there. Uh, one thing that you will not see here is the SQL Server Management Studio feature, okay, that used to come around here. It will, it was discontinued from SQL Server 2016, so it will not be, in the in in the uh, you know coming versions of SQL Server, it, it has to be installed separately. I'll show you. The new thing that I see in this SQL Server vNext is the integration services. Okay, and uh, it is the scale out master and scale out worker. So with this feature, what you can do is you can scale out an integration service. Means you can spread out the load of a ex of, of a package that is executing into multiple servers okay so what i'll do is i'll just uh, click it we'll see you know how these look like the installation of these will look like and i'll just click on database engine services because most of these services are almost same so i'll just click on database engine services so that we can see what new has been added in uh, the sql source sql so vnx ctp as uh, from the perspective of developers okay so database engine services and integration services i'm just going with these two features i'll click on next Okay, so here uh, it is a named instance, so uh, we have to select an instance name. So what I'll do is I'll select SQL Server V next. 
or make this capital V so that we can read it easily so sequels over V next and I'll click on next so here you will see uh, some more services extra services uh, previously till previous version integration services used to come but now the scale out worker and master services will come okay master would be the controller and basically worker will be the worker service that will run the SSS packages and uh, these should be on a production or a test environment or a UAT environment these should be uh, running with the uh, service accounts okay so I'll just keep them as it is right now I'll click next and uh, I'll add the current user okay and a data directories temp DB everything is fine everything is similar to the previous version I'll click next okay so here we come to the new feature that is for the integration service scale out master configuration here you can add the port number okay and uh, uh, create a new SSL certificate so right now I'll keep them uh, by default as it is click on next and uh, it will take your computer name so my computer name is like this right now and this is the port number that was added in the previous screen okay so this computer name can be uh, this or you know you can even change your computer name so that you can use some meaningful and you know the name that you can memorize or it will look good I'll click next and that's it you can just click on install okay so finally the SQL server has been installed and I can click on close and I'll take you to the main window so here I as I told you starting SQL Server 2016 SSMS is not the part of this setup so to install SSMS and SSDT you'll have to you know install them separately so here they have provided links to install SSMS as well as SSDT so right now to fire the queries at least you will need SSMS right uh, SQL Server Management Studio so so what I'll do I'll click on install SQL Server Management Tools and it will take you to you know Microsoft online site and 
and here you get two links so one link is the download SQL Server Management Studio this is basically for uh, the SQL Server 2016 and uh, this is the latest one uh, that is you know that includes the support for SQL Server vNext okay so what I'll do I'll uh, download this one okay you click on this and it uh, asks you to download a set of file of 687 MB I'll just click save so as I've already downloaded this file so I'll skip this and uh, I'll take you to the folder okay so here we have the SSMS setup utility for SQL so vNext I'll just click open okay and uh, the wizard install and click yes so within some moments it will just install the SQL Server Management Studio there's nothing to do no configuration no setting etc Okay, so finally SQL Server Management Studio is also complete. Close, I'll close all the windows and we are all done. So first I'll do, I'll uh, show you the SQL Server vNext location where you know all these uh, links will be there so that you can open your SQL Server Management Studio and fire queries. So these are the two folders that I just created. Okay, SQL Server VNX CTP 1.2 uh, Import Export Wizard and few things and here this uh, this is the SSMS that we just installed this is the configuration manager okay and some other things so I'll just open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so you can see the version 17.0 and RC1 that denotes that it is uh, after the SQL Server 2016 and it belongs to SQL Server vNext. Okay, so server name, I'll just click on browse for more and database engine and this is our SQL Server vNext that we just installed. This is the previous instance that I had. Uh, this is SQL Server 2014 and this I had already installed in my machine previously. This is the new that we installed here right now. I'll just select this and click OK. Okay, and I'll connect here so this is our uh, SQL Server version you can see SQL Server 14.0 okay and as you expand you will see the databases okay and let us fire a simple query to know the version select at the rate at the rate version okay let me click on the text results okay here so you can see here it is Microsoft SQL Server vNext CTP 1.2 and the uh, version number is 14.0 and uh, January 10 2017 although the first version was launched around October November but this is the CTP 1.2 so it was released on January 10th 2017 so this is it so this is it for today um, in this uh, video maybe in next video I'll talk some features that have been added in SQL Server vNext. Okay, so till then, 
thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, please subscribe so that you can get to know about the new videos that i put in and uh, thanks a lot